Hi, I'm Martin Tett. I'm leader of Buckinghamshire County Council, and this is the third of a series of webcasts we've been doing for the residents of Buckinghamshire. Now, what you will notice is a slight change of style. Uh, previously, we've done this sort of suited and booted, looking very official from the office in Aylesbury. Um, and of course, we're no longer doing that because in line with the government guidance, most of us are now working remotely. So I'm at home, as are lots of the other chief execs and whatever of councils across the country, uh, most of our senior team in Buckinghamshire. Uh, but we want to keep up the webcast. So what we're going to do is try and film this remotely. We're going to bring in guests from elsewhere around the county to help complement some of the key messages for you. Um, so you'll be able to see what's going on. Uh, you'll see I'm at home. You'll be able to form a view of my reading material on the bookshelves behind. You can uh, play Hey, Guess What He Reads. Uh, you'll find mainly Stephen King novels if you look behind me and some travel books, but it's always interesting to see what, what's on people's shelves. Um, so what I want to do on this particular webcast is say a little bit about some of the changes in the services that have been going on. Um, and then I'm going to introduce our Director of Public Health, Dr Jane O'Grady, who's going to talk to you a little bit more about some of the public health aspects that you should be aware of. Uh, and also a little bit about how to make sure your mental health uh, stays really good during a period of sort of enforced um, self um, isolation over the next weeks ahead. So just in terms of some of the key things going on, although many of us are now working from home, we still have a large number of staff as the councils in Buckinghamshire actually out working. Um, obviously, we have to have our social workers actually out visiting people. We have a whole ser series of people who are out uh, caring for others. We've got local response teams actually out. We've got some transport workers out. And of course, um, with the key uh, national health service workers are actually out uh, working in our hospitals and around the county as well. So there's a large amount of public sector people actually out supporting the residents of this county as we talk. Uh, and I just like publicly again to thank them for everything they're doing. Uh, the other thing I just wanted to make uh, you aware of, uh, and it's hot off the press as of this morning, is we're suspending all parking charges. So you can park for free around the county at the moment. Clearly, what I don't want to do is encourage you to go out in your car. This is mainly aimed at the uh, National Health Service workers um, and caring staff that have to move around the county. And we just want to free them from any any concern about having to pay for parking charges or potentially getting a parking ticket, dare I say. So that's a really important thing. Uh, some other key news you need to be aware of is that we've had on government advice really to close most of our country parks. I think we saw rather like some of the other parts of the country last weekend, big surge in uh, people turning up at our country parks like Black Park, Langley Park, Denham Country Park and so on. Uh, and that was just really not good in terms of social mixing. So we've now officially closed those parks. And indeed some of our local parks, the play areas are now closed because we don't want to see lots of people, particularly uh, mums with children, parents with children uh, in those sort of play areas. But the rest of the parks are still open. So if you're taking your once a day exercise, feel free to go to those parks into the, the non play areas uh, and you can do that exercise. But obviously, again, stay away from other people when you're doing that. So those are two key announcements. Another thing I just wanted to touch on, which I have done in some of the previous webcasts, is some of the changes in our waste collection services. Now I'm aware that for most of us as residents, that's one of the things that we always reckon you know, the council does for us. Um, and one of the things we've had to do is see some changes in the bin collections, particularly in the southern district areas today, that's the Chiltern and Wickham district areas, where there's been a restriction on the ability to actually staff up some of the collections for the recycling services. That's in these areas, the blue bin that we put out. Uh, colours vary in different parts of the county. Uh, in Aylesbury Vale, I believe that's still being collected, but at the moment it's suspended in Chilton and Wickham districts. Uh, but we hope to get those back up and running pretty quickly. Uh, and they're trying to bring in more staff to actually resource that. And the last thing I just want to say very quickly, uh, and I'm getting you know, a lot of correspondence on this, is the fact that we've had to close our household waste sites. Uh, it's what most of us call the local tip. And again, that's because quite frankly, there were just too many people going down there, mixing really closely to each other. Uh, and that was giving to uh, a national health, uh, a public health issue uh, in terms of transmitting uh, COVID-19 if we had not done that. And that decision was taken very regretfully, but it's one we had to make. So having said that and touched briefly upon public health, uh, I'm going to hand over now to Dr Jane O'Grady, our Director of Public Health in Buckinghamshire, and ask her to say a little bit more about some of the key messages really 
that you should be observing and knowing about uh, with regard to this. So Jane, over to you. Thank you, Martin. Um, hello, I'm Jane O'Grady, the Director of Public Health in Buckinghamshire. And firstly, I'd just like to reiterate the government guidance we received earlier this week. It's really, really important now to follow this simple guidance. Stay at home, keep your distance and wash your hands. So stay at home, only go out if you're a key worker doing essential work. You can go out for essential food and medicine shopping, essential health and care appointments, and once a day for exercise. But if you are going out, please go alone and try and keep your distance from other people. Anyone can catch the virus and anyone can spread it. So we need everyone to take action now to keep yourself and your family safe and well and everyone else in the community. And then we can help reduce the numbers of people getting sick so the NHS can cope and we can help the NHS can then help people when they fall sick. Now, I know it can be tough staying at home for extended periods and I know it's a really worrying time for people. So it is important to keep you and your family physically and mentally healthy. So although you are staying socially isolated, we want you to stay in touch with your family and friends uh, online or on the phone. Um, we also know it's very important both for your physical and mental health to stay active. So there's lots of resources free and online that will help you keep fit and ideas to keep you occupied. But particularly for your mental health, there's a very good website called Every Mind Matters, which has got great advice on looking after our mental well-being. And finally, for families, um, please check out the Bucks Family Information Services website with advice for families and children. So my message is look after yourselves and each other. Avoid um, becoming ill by observing these simple measures. Protect the NHS so it doesn't become overwhelmed and help save lives. Thank you. So. Thank you very much, Jane. That's really good advice. And just to reiterate all the points that uh, Jane's made, they're all um, linked on our council website. So if you go to the council websites, if you click the link, I think it's marked COVID-19, you can get through to lots of really helpful information uh, that can keep you both uh, clinically well, uh, but also importantly, mentally well, because I'm really conscious that a lot of people are going to be on their own potentially uh, for a significant period of time and actually keeping yourself mentally active, but also linking in potentially over the internet and stuff like this, you can keep in touch with other people. And I think that's really, really important as well. Now that's the end of this particular webcast, but what I want to do is just say, one of the big questions I keep getting raised with me is about local volunteering. Uh, the council has now set up a series of what we're calling hubs across the county. Um, and I'm gonna be talking more about that with uh, the person who really does understand this in a lot of detail, a lady called Sarah Ashmead, who's our Deputy Chief Executive, hopefully on the next webcast. So stay tuned for more information from the new Buckinghamshire Council.